Hi guys, uh, we're going to learn a little bit about first angle orthographic projection today. Just a quick introduction. Just going to get some paper here so we can work on it. Yeah, cool. Alright, so first angle. Orthographic projection. Right. First thing, what is it? Well, first thing, orthographic projection. We usually take a 3D drawing and we change it into a 2D drawing. Right. So we're looking at something much like an isometric. Cube. Right, nice. Cube's not so. We're going to translate that into something that shows our front, our left, and a top view. Okay. Right. Now there's a format we have to follow to specifically do that drawing. We'll talk about that format, format later on. But now you just need to know that we're taking a 3D and we're changing it to 2D. In grade 8, we asked you to take 2D and go back to 3D. So we're basically reversing, working in reverse. It's a lot easier actually to take a 3D and work to a 2D drawing because the paper's flat. And our 3D drawings have isometric and 30 degree angles up there. It's much easier to work in the reverse direction. What are these drawings usually used for? Well, most of the time, first angle orthographic drawing is a uh, production drawing. It's going to be taken to a production shop and it's going to be actually made into a part. Three views are usually enough to build any part from. We may add in an auxiliary view if we wish. Okay. Um, I take note that there is also third angle. Right, third angle drawings. We won't be looking at those today or in grade eight, in grade nine. We're just going to focus on first angle orthographic projection. So we're going to take a 3D drawing and we're going to take it to a 2D space and we're going to practice this format right now.